all right guys so today's video is about the orimo 3 plus 4 review and this is the successor to the orimo 3 plus 3 and i've been using this guy for the past four days and i can tell you everything about it it comes with some fantastic features such as active noise cancellation feature transparency mode better battery life and a new orimo sound hub all this i'll be sharing with you and how this guy has fared with me in the past few days so if you are new here Please subscribe to the channel just go down there hit that white subscribe button and notification bell by the side so that i can get notified once i post good videos like this one without wasting much of a time let's get down to business starting with the price which is the first thing i'll always say the price is not yet out right now as the time of posting this video but you can check the pinned comment or the description box down there i'll be updating it from time to time and also you can use the discount code right on the screen right now to buy anything from our Rimo eShop website to give you 5% discount instantly. Thank you for using the code and let's continue with the video. Let's quickly go over the unboxing. I've done the shots already, you can check that up here, but let me just go over it quickly so that I can know what you're going to get in the box. The first thing you're going to see in the box is the AirBot itself in its charging case. Next comes the USB cable which comes in a green color and you are going to find the user manual which is very lengthy and you can go through that and last but not the least is extra air tips which is very good for you to change Oramo claims this is antibacterial air tips i'm going to talk about that more later in the video so the first thing i'll be talking about is the Oramo sound hub this app is very useful very basic and user friendly but let me show you how it all looks like first of all you have to connect it to your smartphone all right so i'm going to launch my Oramo sound hub and you are going to see welcome to Oramo sound as you can see right up here this is Babatundo Orimo Freeport 4. You can see the battery percent there already. So I have to put this in my ears right now. So let me show you quickly how this guy works with the Orimo Sound app. Actually, you can use just only the AirBots without the app. But if you want to maximize the potential of this AirBots, just use it with the Orimo Sound app. You are going to enjoy it. So quickly, let's go to the app. Now you can see welcome to Orimo Sound. You have the login, you have the register, and you have visitor mode. Here, I have logged in already. I have an account there. So I'm just going to click login and input my email address and password. So if you are just coming for the first time, you need to register. So you can select register and you are going to input your email, send you a verification code, verify that, and use your new password and register. That is just all you have to do when you want to register and you are good to go. So now I'm going to log in my details and show you how the app looks like. If you don't want to input any of these details as in you don't want to register, you can go back and use the visitor mode. The visitor mode actually will just keep the whole process and connect you to the app. Okay, so as you can see here, um, this is the first thing you are going to see, the first page you are going to see when you have your Orimo Sound app in. So at the top left corner here, you are going to see a cartoon. This is where you have your details, your profile um, details. You can see everything. You can edit it if you want and just use it that way. So at the top right corner here, the gear icon actually is for the other settings. Okay, you can see my device. It's going to show you your device here. If you have a lot of device connected to this, Orimo Sound Hub is going to show you there. And then you have the language in case you want to choose your language. You can come here choose english french or arabic and if you want the questionnaire you can just go through that but for now no available questionnaire and this is about orimo sound app this is just it you can learn more from orimo.com and statements which is about the user privacy agreement and personal information protection policy you can go through that if you want to go through that so that is all under the settings now when you select your orimo free plus four here like this is going to show you the main interface of your Orimo Freeport 4. As you can see right here, this is nice and looks nice. You can see the left battery percentage. You can see the right battery percentage of the AirBuds. You can see also the charging case. Uh, this is showing you 5% because this is the third time that I'm using this case to charge my AirBuds. Okay, so if you go down a bit, you are going to see noise cancellation mode. This is where you can do the active noise cancellation settings. So if you select here, it's going to change to noise cancellation, which is the active noise cancellation feature. When you select the middle one, which is the noise cancellation off. Okay, so that is just once a normal one. And here, 
this is the transparency mode where you want to be aware of your environment so you can pick this be able to hear everything that go on around you this is very good and i'll be talking more about that in this video now the next thing you are going to see here let me choose normal mode the next thing you are going to see here is the equalizer so when you select the equalizer you are going to see something like this and this is the um, equalizer graph here is the standard in case you want the standard preset the eq this is avid base that is orimo signature sound you can choose that very good and the rock in case you want the rock kind of settings you want jazz and you want vocal which i really like one of my favorites and if you want to create your own special eq just come here select create and you can start your tweaking but here i have one already so here is how to do it in case you want to set your own you can come here and adjust all this frequency okay once you are satisfied with it, listening to music and adjusting it, you'll be hearing the effect immediately. And you can select save up here and it's going to save. As you can see here, it's right here. But for me, I don't really want this. I prefer to use the vocal and the avid bass mode, which I really like. These are the settings that are actually, you know, very, very good for me. So you can go there and do whatever you want. Do as you like is your thing. All right, so let's go back and... Um, the next one is the airbot control at the airbot control this is where you have the power to change the settings to your own taste okay so you can use the left airbot settings you can use the right airbot settings and here you can see the default settings of this airbot here if you tap once double tap triple tap the sensor side of this airbot is going to get the message and answer you the way you want it so you can actually use the music control mode or you choose the volume mode here if you want the volume mode that means you want it to be using volume controls okay you can use that on this same airbot depending on the one you want you can use just only left or you use both left and right for me i prefer the music control the default one that it comes with just perfect i don't want to confuse myself but if you know you can you know keep up to date with this just change it to what you want and you can start using it and you don't want anything just go to none and this thing is just going to be default okay so i prefer the music control mode and that is just it about the airbot control down here you are going to see firmware update the firmware update is very useful you can use it to update your airbots and orimo has promised to be updating this from time to time so you are getting those kind of upgrades or updates like the app, apple airports and other stuff like that so this is very good you are going to see what is new down here and you can select update i have not updated it. maybe after this video i'm going to do my update okay so here is the quick start guide the next is the quick start guide when you select that it's going to show you things that are inside the user manual so maybe you misplace your user manual this is just an online one that you can access to you can see package content apps you can see airbus control and every other thing with the specifications of the rimo freeports 4. so that is all on the quick start guide all right so let's move over to the last option there which is help and feedback help and feedback is just for you to send your issues to the developer of the app which is a rimo complaint so in case you have any issue you can just type in your stuff there or you have a social issue put an image or video there so that they can see it and select submit when you select it's going to send it to a rimo and they are going to reply you as soon as possible so that's pretty much it on this Orimo app. very useful very basic and everything is just on point i really like that let's continue with the rest of the video moving over to the connection department this Orimo free post 4 comes with bluetooth 5.2 version actually i wish this is bluetooth 5.3 but that is what Orimo is giving us on this new airport now they have sbc and aac as their connection coders so if you are using an android phone or an ios device you are going to have a seamless connection with them and for the android users you are going to have this google fast pair service on it that means you'll be having this notification come up like every now and then when you want to connect your rimo free plus 4 but for the ios device um, i'm sorry you are not getting that you are just going to use your normal bluetooth connection to connect to it and that's just it this is not apple airports <laughs> this is a rimo free plus 4 and when i test the connectivity range i was able to get 11 meters 
and this i got in an open space so there was nothing in between me and my smartphone so if you are using it in an office or where there is block or brick between you and the connected device you're not going to get up to 11 meters it's going to reduce depending on how strong the brick or block or the obstruction is so when it comes to the overall design i really like this kind of design not everybody will like this i know it is not everybody's cake but i personally i like this because uh, it comes with this matte finishing and i've been using it for the past four days there's no scratches whatsoever on it it's just looking new the only place that i see glossy finishing is just around the lid the one that opened up here so is that is the only thing that i know that has glossy finishing the rest is just matte finishing and it has been keeping all these scratches which some other airbots cannot do at the back of the charging case you are going to see this type c charging port which you can use to juice it up when it is running out of power this is going to take you about two hours to fully charge it so depending on the kind of charger that you are using please use five volts two amps or five volts one amps adapter when you are charging it anything higher than that or fast charging adapter is going to ruin this guy i hope or will give us something that is wireless in the nearest future but for now it is what it is you are having a wire charging method on this guy overall design 100 over 100. <laughs> Another feature worth mentioning about this Oramo Free Plus 4 is the fast charging speed. Oramo claims that this guy can charge for 10 minutes and it's going to give you 170 minutes of listening time. During my testing, I was able to charge it for 10 minutes and I got 140 minutes of playback time, which is 2 hours 20 minutes. Are you kidding me? When it comes to the battery life, this is one of the best airbots from Oramo Smart Accessory that I've used that gave me Best. battery performance. Oramo claimed that this airbot can last you for 8 hours 30 minutes if you are using it with the ANC turned off and it can last you for 7 hours if you are using it with ANC turned on. During my testing, I was able to get 8 hours at 80% volume with ANC turned off and I got 6 hours 40 minutes with ANC turned on. You have no choice of carrier, the battery can't hold a charge, and the reception isn't very- Shut up and take my money! Now to the touch controls. This Oramo Free Plus 4 uses touch control sensors. You can see that black circle on it. Yes, that two black circles. These are very useful and very, very responsive. And the touch control works just like the Oramo Free Plus Pro. The only difference is that you can actually use your own settings. That is, you can customize your own settings on the Oramo Sound app with the left or the right or both of them you can also use volume controls on it which is absent on the Oramo Freeports Pro. Double tap either the left airbot or the right airbot to skip your music forward if you are listening to music and triple tap either of the airbots to skip backwards. When you press hold for two seconds you are going to hear two beeps and it's going to tell you you have switched to ANC mode. You can further press hold it for two seconds to switch to the normal mode or to the transparency mode. This is very useful for someone that really wants to change quickly without going through the hub. You can also press hold the right airbot for 4 beeps and it's going to change to game mode. These airbots come with game mode on them but I didn't find it very effective. I have to tell you this that if you are using it for casual games like Candy Crush, Highway Surfers, Beach Buggy, Zombie Highways, you are not going to have any issue whatsoever. They are going to play just fine. But if you are using it for Call of Duty, PUBG or any other graphic demanding games, you are going to notice a little bit of latency but you can still manage it. I was able to win some of my games with this Oramo Free Plus 4 because I was able to hear where the sounds are coming from. If it's from the left, you are going to hear the sound, the gunshot and everything coming from the left and if it's from the right, you are going to hear that. So I was able to maneuver my way and win the game. More on the latency side, if you are someone that is going to be using this Oramo Free Plus 4, for watching movies on YouTube, other online streaming platforms like Netflix or Showmax or something like that, then you have no issue whatsoever with latency. This Oramo Airbot comes with IPX5 waterproof rating. So this means that if there is rain shower or you are sweating previously, maybe you are at the gym and you are sweating all over, uh, you are having water splashes or showers of rain, just light showers, this is going to be fine. But if you are going swimming or you have heavy downpour of rain or you want to drop it into a body of water, please, please don't do this. This is going to spoil your hairball. So I think I should just tell you this. Moving over to the core quality department, Oramo Free Pulse 4 is very good for cores. I tested it and I noticed that this guy is really good 
In fact, you can use it for Zoom calls, online calls, WhatsApp calls, or whatever calls you want to use it for. I don't want you to take my word for it. This is the core quality test. All right, guys, so this is the core quality test of the Oremo 3 Plus 4, as you can see right in my ears. Now, this is what you'll be getting if you are buying one right away. And I noticed that uh, this airport actually puts a little bit of deep bass into my voice when I'm using it to make calls. I think this is where the microphones are actually at work and trying to calm everything around me. Like now, you can see there is sun here and um, it's a little bit breezy, so the microphones are actually working very, very well. So with that being said, it is a very good one, and this is the testing of the Oramo 3 Plus 4. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two. Now to the meat of this whole review, which is the sound quality. I can say it is more of treble, and it has moderate bass, okay? That is the default setting, the default sound quality of the Oramo 3 Plus 4. And for the EQ, that is the equalizer hub, that we have that is the Oramo sound hub you can actually use it to get the exact sound of the Oramo 3 plus 3 the exact sound of the Oramo 3 plus pro all this is made possible by the eye sensitive 10 millimeter made with rare earth neodymium to boost the sound and give accurate notes of each track that you play if you have any question please drop it down there in the comment section don't forget to use the discount code in case you are buying it right away and i'll see you on the next one please stay safe Bye for now. Peace.